So this week we're talking about knock sensors and knock control and knock systems. Hi, I'm Ed, Technical Operations Manager at Cybex. Welcome back to Question of the Week, uh, Episode 4. So this week we're talking about knock sensors and knock control and knock systems. Um, this is um, a part of modern ECU technology that really separates the men from the boys. Um, so what is knock control? Or what is knock? Um, engines obviously combust fuel and air. You inject fuel into your incoming airstream, you compress it in your cylinder and then you ignite it with the spark plug. So what happens at this point um, varies depending on the quality of the fuel, how much boost you're running and other environmental variables. But in a bad situation you can get knock. So what happens? As the flame ignites, the fuel burns. Fuel doesn't actually explode, it burns. It burns really fast but it does burn. As it burns, the flame propagates outwards and around the cylinder you have unburnt fuel mixed with air and what can happen is this pressure increase causes instability and you'll get pockets of fuel and air that suddenly ignite. They will explode, they don't burn, they literally explode. What this does is it causes sudden pressure spikes within the cylinder. So this wants to force your piston down, it wants to force your piston down faster than the piston can even react to it. In doing so these pressure spikes transfer this sudden shock force, it's like hitting the pistons with a sledgehammer, onto the bearings and comrods. It can compress and bend your bearings, literally squeezing the oil out of the way, causing metal on metal contact damaging your bearings, crankshaft and comrods. Not only that, this extreme pressure causes heat that can melt pistons, damage ring lands, crack ring lands, melt pistons and destroy basically everything. Um, so what do we do to deal with these absolutely horrendous operating conditions? Well, one thing obviously is we can use high octane fuel. We're on road vehicles, we're limited to what we can get from the pumps. Um, so that has some limitations, but there are some options. Obviously, you want to run as best fuel quality as you can. Um, why, why wouldn't you? In other cases, we have knock control. So because of the nature of knock and its explosive tendencies, this causes a, an audible sound, a knock, hence the name, and this is detected on cars when equipped with a knock sensor. This knock sensor, when it hears knock, produces a voltage. The voltage is measured by the ECU, and when it's above a certain threshold, the ECU will take corrective action in reducing or retarding the ignition um, timing. So essentially, if the pressure is built up too fast, too soon, we fire the spark plug later, the piston is already on its way down a bit, the pressure spike will be less and the knock will be prevented. Now on ECU such as Cyvex, we use a really advanced knock system. It's an adaptive knock control. So it can deal with varying engine noises, it can listen and ignore transmission noises, and it is completely customizable and tunable depending on the engine. The Cyvex system is a, an, an advanced adaptive knock control. It can listen to a per cylinder event. So what we mean by that is your engine can be at 6,000 RPM. If it in any split second after a cylinder has fired there is a knock, the ECU can react to it. It is that fast. Um, this works on a per cylinder basis. So if you have a slightly blocked injector or one cylinder that runs slightly hotter than the others, the ECU will take corrective action on that cylinder and that cylinder only. It doesn't pull timing from all the cylinders and this adaptive knock system maintains optimal engine performance under all conditions. Obviously for knock to happen in the first place is not ideal, but having a system that can react fast enough to deal it with it is crucial in preventing cylinder temperature buildups and also in preventing engine damage. In extreme cases where knock intervention has been taken, ignition timing has been removed and the cylinder is still experiencing knock, say a blocked injector or something is just really unhappy in that combustion chamber, the Cyvex has the ability to shut down that cylinder completely to prevent any further problems. 
Um, after a certain amount of time, you can decide whether you want the cylinder to come back online or whether it remains off completely. How much does knock control cost? It's actually a standard feature. There are no additional extras for Cyrix knock control. The only thing you need to make sure is that you have a good knock sensor mounted to the engine. A lot of the factory OEM knock sensors aren't that great and we'd recommend you change into one of the motorsport Bosch ones. Other than that, it, there, there really is no reason not to have this. Many ECUs don't really do a great job of knock control but it's something that we stand by and we can say works exceptionally well. If you found this video interesting or have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, if you like this and you'd like to hear more, then click like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you at the next one.